Greetings, mortals. I am Nates, Wanderers of the Underworld, or specifically the ruler of Manga Hell. And today we will be reacting to the well, currently the newest chapter with the official translations of My Academia. Because as you are probably already aware, the new the newest chapter is actually 358. But I decided to wait until the official translations because I actually have more time now in in the weeks. So yeah, right now I'm trying going to try to use the official translations for these chapter reactions, which is the same reason why there is not a full nights ch chapter out right now because the only chapter is right now are unofficial translations, and those unofficial translations don't even fucking have a title. So we'll be trying to limit. I'll try to get like a certain panel here, but I kind of doubt it. Let's just hope I'll actually be able to do the chapter reactions. Then no money soon, but regardless. Let's actually go to this chapter because I really do like this chapter and want, really want to talk about it. Which, also, by the way, we are like two weeks behind if we are going to the next one, so let's not. So, yeah, anyways, we start this chapter off with the previous chapter, 356, and that, which I'm hoping everyone knows by now at least, was with Endeavor punching All for One. So, I guess everyone who was pa acting like Jill was gonna take down All for One, Jill was gonna take down All for One, was exaggerating beyond belief. Alright, so here's a question. What makes Seru and Zora showing up to stop Lucifer's sponge better moment than Jiro slowing down all for one? Like, so here's a question. Because these two moments are practically the same, yet for some reason, people are more panicky about Jiro putting us, doing something that's all for one, while Sekou and Zora are mostly are like, bad at Zora moment. But yeah, regardless, let's go ahead. Let's uh, continue this chapter properly. So, yeah, anyways, we have uh, Old Form being pushed back as he then uh, is take, like, kind of blocking himself. I think he's using like, a shield quirk. As Old Form's like, that was a close one. Actual danger, as he's thinking to himself. As they, we uh, have Old Form be like, I knew you'd come at m me hard, but I never expected that the likes of you would make me relieve the pain and misery of that day. As we get like a small panel with All Might, which I guess is supposed to state that this is the same uh, fear or bait, well, the f same thing he felt when uh, his, uh, well, not, well, before the story last battle with All, for one, All Might, well, you know, he got that face he has right now, and all for my god, that wound. But regardless, like, that's what he's comparing, and that actually is a pretty nice feat for Endeavor. Like, I don't know, care what you say about the verses, but you gotta admit, giving all Endeavor this moment with him being compared to All Might is actually a very good one, because it actually is, like, impressive in terms of imp showing off and stuff like just that you're weaker than All Might, that's always gonna be the case. But yeah. Anyways, uh, then we get the page that's the reason why I wait for the official translations, as we see this glorious, badass shot of Endeavor, pure with rage, having fire come off his mouth like he's a fucking dragon, as his rip, uh, rim, ripped off arm in the last chapter, there is now being, is now forming a fire fist, or just from the storm a fire fist is being formed. As uh, all for one saying, wounded heroes are always the scariest. Well, it depends on how much wounded they are, because sometimes they're literally just wounded to a point of, like, you just see blood, but you don't actually see anything that would signify they're actually wounded. But regardless, as all for one is saying that, he immediately get, gets a face to face uh, meeting with uh, Endeavor as he's right up him, and all for one is like, uh oh? As then we see um, a reason why he's so fast, as we see you know, some of the Hoxes fast are still there, pushing, giving Endeavor a boost as they're burning up, similar to the Hood battle. As we have Hawks saying, you're too slow. As then we have uh, Endeavor with that fire face back, vanishing Jet Burn as he hits. Uh, all for one and slams into the ground and we just leaves a giant shockwave. And by the way, stops a few battles with the heroes and villains as we'll see later. 
And then we see some of the heroes and villains there and react with, Yikes! That's hot! In Endeavor, I thought the plan was to finish him off way up the high! And we get like the, see a little bit of a change of plan situation here. As then we uh, have uh, back to the air where we see Hawks and uh, Tokurami holding Jero because she can't fly. And I'm assuming that, they're, that at least Hawks' wings have been currently going a bit down. As as then we have Hawks saying to Endeavor, wasn't that the right moment for a prominent burn? As and I was like, no, didn't you see him go on the defensive? And that's not a move I can fire off multiple times. I got to physically rip apart his defenses to be sure to be big. Well, the big one hits its mark. As then we have Hawk saying, keep your cool hand, huh? Uh, which I guess, I'm not just implying that Hawks uh, just want to check to see if Endeavor is keeping a cool hat. Or if uh, Hawks legitimately didn't know, but I feel like it is probably just to check to see that Endeavor, yes, he's you now come on the, the mic. He's not going to do some idiotic decisions. As then we have Endeavor just responding to Hawks saying, No, I can't hold back this rage. And he just boosts himself towards uh, the floor where all one is. And then we have all, all on, on the floor shake a bit with his feel like, but for yourself, Jesus Christ, what, how is this guy, is I'm pretty sure his quirk is just uh, Hellfire, because I'm pretty sure this is reaching Nuclear Fire, or whatever is the highest form of fire. As then we have Kamei Woods appearing, finally, it's like, it's all for one. As then we have uh, Kamei Woods looking up, and he's looking at, uh, as then he's like, Every everyone, everyone, retreat! As then Kamei Woods just like grabs, I'm not sure, I'm guessing two heroes, as he like starts booking it, as Kami was like, as around the he was like, why he's our he's our chance to bomb rush him, as he like pulling him, as they as me as it says, over one slaps to the ground and just sends everyone away and probably even burning a few kills. I mean, talk about a friendly fire here, as we see over one actually managed to make a shield. Thank God Kami Woods grabbed everyone because otherwise it would be a lot of burnt heroes. And that's not even the villain's fault. And then we see an uh, awful uh, endeavor with his actual hand grabbing awful one's shield. He seems to like melt the shield, honestly. And I don't think the shield's made of ice or iron. I think it's like a normal, like a is one of those holographic shields. And then we have Hollywood saying above all else, as endeavor actually goes through the shield after he burned, grabbing awful one. As uh, everyone's like. Endeavor's coming through, as then we see like this glorious panel of Endeavor just screaming. I mean, I mean I'm gonna say our pain and anger, as he then uses his fire to project himself away from the from everyone else, so I get so there will not be casualties of the fire. And then it seems like he actually moves at like a good chunk because I actually see like trees and everything moving away. As then we see Awful One just a bit, and he's being dragged. As then we have Awful One be like, The swarming glance cracked my mask, and now my body won't move as I command. But at this range, it, he's within my reach. As he pulls his hand, as we all remember, Awful One does have Awful One. So now uh, the obvious plan would be just to steal his quirk, because like, one, it's powerful, and two, I mean, he's quirkless, and then, you know, it'd be a lot easier. But Endeavor is having none of that, and just uses the fire that he possesses to use heat vision, basically, as he just sends it to all for one's hand and just burns the hand. And all for like, yeah! As the hands burn, as then we have all Endeavor saying, those hands of yours ruin people's futures. As we hear a bit of sizzling, it seems like those that fire actually also burned in Davos' face when he was using it. Which I do wonder if there's going to be any actual consequences to his arms as well. As then we have... Uh, uh, Overwhelmed screaming, You think... You know a thing or two about that. As then we have Overwhelmed... Well, in Davos saying, You are right. As then we have uh, one of those like emotional conclusions to the chapter, type of chapters. As we have him say, in Davos saying, My mistakes took... Or, 
form a store out, leading to us many stolen futures. And we see them, them going to the air to make sure that they're always going to be in danger. Then we have the past never dies. Rage, resentment, and even pen penance are wound, are wound together towards the future. As we see, uh, um, ha Jiro, Tokuyami, I'm assuming also Hawks. I, it's difficult to tell because it's it seems like although it seems like Hawks just gave his code to Jiro, as then uh, Endeavor, as they are staring at that fire that's Endeavor, as then we have Endeavor saying. And the future is a path for the young, a path with so many branches choices. Then we get a flashback to that uh, training in arc they had at, with Tor Ibakugo and Kugo and uh, Shoto. Uh, as then, and I was like, that's why I must win this. So that when those kids walk the path, my past won't stand in their way. As we see a bit of future versions of a few of the heroes. Not sure how much in the future that is, but needless to say, it's the future versions as we see like Shoto walking off, who seems to have like a bit of an upgraded suit that he has previously. We see a bit of upgraded suits for Bakugo and Izuku, who seems to even have more of a cape that seems to be stitched together, I guess, in Memo Gran Torino. Then we see Ochaka, Ida, Momo. I think that's supposed to be Kirishima, Tsuyo, and some up ahead. I'm not sure exactly who those are, so I think it's supposed to be Shinsu, but whatever. Well, as then we have Endeavor saying, I'll keep paying my parents. I will win to that and keep my eyes on Tora. As then we, we have Endeavor screaming, I'll keep. As then we have uh, is, uh, all for one screaming, no, stop. As then we have Endeavor screaming, well, thank you, Endeavor, raging against myself. As then we see uh, Endeavor using prominence burn. Burn just to uh, completely ups destroy all for one. As then we get like in the next panel, we see all for one's body just being a shock remains like 10 times worse than what all for one what what uh, is what uh, Shigaki had in the previous arc. As uh, it's, it's actually his body's actually starting to disintegrate. As then we from the heat, uh, as then we have. In that figure stuff, we already confirmed that he doesn't have hyper re regeneration. So I guess that all for us have regeneration here. I wonder why they are mentioning this. Is there was like even if he did and were keeping it secret without a durable body like Shiroki, he, he, he's still a dead man. Well, it should be fair, it's not unlucky because I'm pretty sure his brain's starting to be disintegrated. It's time to get disintegrated. As then we see a uh, Hawks there, as it, Hawks like, get away from him, Endeavor, as he's screaming in panic, and you're just wondering what that has. But in case you're wondering, we actually get the answer pretty soon. Because as in the, all Hawks screams, all for one starts speaking, as he's a ch burned up corpse, he's like, did you really think? As in Endeavor's eyes widened, as all for one starts saying, I would, I, cas I would casually sound to, up the, to the big, final, empty-handed. This body has already served its purpose, and it was destined for the scrap heap anyway, so why not try this out? As there we see a panel of Airy walking around with a few of those bullets. Then we see three bullets of those falling down. As there we see... Second to last panel to the other chapter, with all for one's burned corpse starting to regrow his eye, which remember is something that was been completely so fucking twisted it was actually sealed. As we see his getting ear as well as his, apparently his skin coming back from the chalk remains. As we have the awful one saying, as he has a big mouth that's just pure white, just us, it looks like those creepy masks, you know, the masks that are supposed to mirror human faces, but they have, like, no color, it's like, like a, just a, a reverse kind of color of that, with just, like, a smile on that. As he's saying, heroes don't have a monopoly on big sacrifice, sacrificial moments, you know? 
Basically saying, yeah, if you heroes can sacrifice yourselves to save the day, so can the villains. And the narrator saying, villains are also scary as when wounded. And my god, that is accurate here. Like, my god, this is just like an extreme badass battle of Wolf 1. My god, it's like one of the best battles with him. And then we get a final panel of the chapter as we get the Wolf 1's brother. Like, probably react. We reacted to this uh, shot of in Ophelosity as we have him appearing that like weird vestige fog mental thing that they have to Midoriya as the first which is like Midoriya as uh, Izuku screaming ah the first what is it as uh, the first saying I've got a bad feeling about this Danger Sense and his own instincts as a brother are probably the ones that are telling him this as then we see from a distance a few like a few dots appearing as we have Izuku saying what's that and yeah we see like I think eight dots so yeah they those dots are appearing right now no well I think these dots are uh, probably some of the villains from the uh, rest of the world I mean that they, they were talked and mentioned like remember that Oma oh, uh, Tomura versus uh System Star Strike fight did have mentionings of other countries and all that a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised those are actually those villains appearing now to go up against Izuku. Which, to be fair, I doubt they're going to be much of a challenge. And I doubt they're going to be fleshed out characters. But I'm pretty sure that these, uh, but they're going to be a good, like, beat up for Izuku before he can actually straight up go. Or at the very least, they're going to be what the uh, other countries are going to be fighting against. But whatever. All I know is that eight unknown dots are appearing, and Izuku is now going to be fighting if those are enemies all on his own. So yeah, this chapter was a pretty exciting action pack chapter, and it was probably easily one of the best chapters we got from My Academia. And according to some people, apparently this has a new editor uh, for My Her Academia because was so. All you're saying is because of that why it's so great, which I do. Be I could believe it, although it does make me kind of laugh how the fact how many v series right now have a problem with editors. But regardless, this is a pretty action-packed chapter, and the five second to last ch page with all for one regarding as the saying villains are also the scariest when wounded, and making fun of the whole you know the whole hypocritical oath that. Mangas have with the, you know, heroes have the cool sacrifice of moments and all that shit actually being brought up is just perfect way to end. And it pretty much capitulates this hero, the villains and the heroes in this story. It does actually make me wonder how this is gonna end because remember, the previous future is like just what awful what Endeavor is talking about. So it's pretty up in the air outside the fact that we know. Uh, Izuku wins, but we don't actually know. But we don't know how that actually happens. So yeah, regardless, yes, I really like this chapter. I hope you like this chapter as well. And mm, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future. And um, that's it. I cannot wait to see all of you mortals next time. Goodbye.